the state of Jammu and Kashmir, once known as paradise on earth, for its pristine natural beauty, snow-capped mountains, lush green meadows, world-famous lakes and flowing rivers, has been turned into hell for the people of Kashmir for the past seven decades. Denial of Kashmiri people for their right of self-determination is a bitter reality. As on August 5, 2019, followers of the Hindutva ideology occupying the seats of power in New Delhi inflicted the most devastating blow to the people of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. On this day, fascist Indian rulers snatched the special status of Jammu and Kashmir through an illegal and unilateral malicious step. Indian Home Minister Amit Shah informed the Indian Parliament about the repealing of Article 370. The purpose of repealing Article 370 was to take full control of occupied Kashmir and to keep the world in the dark. The valley full of colors was cut off from the rest of the world through a lockdown and imposition of round-the-clock curfew. Thousands of additional Indian armed soldiers were deployed in Kashmir Valley followed by the worst of lockdowns, illegal arrests and brutal killings of innocent Kashmiris. The cries of the oppressed Kashmiris were buried somewhere under the boots of the Indian soldiers. After the unilateral decision of inflicting heavy blows on the special status of occupied Kashmir, the Indian efforts to impose this decision by force and to further divide the valley are still going on today. Now is the time for the world to know what is the reality of Indian barbarism on the oppressed Kashmiris. India's hardline Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janta Party had been wanting for a long time to tear down all special protective measures regarding Kashmir in the Indian constitution. The agenda of the Indian government was to use full force to change the demographic structure of occupied Kashmir. Under this sinister plan, hardline Hindus were being shifted to occupied Kashmir on a permanent basis so that when a referendum is held under the United Nations regulations, Kashmiri Muslims tend to be a minority and the valley of Kashmir is easily merged with India. 5 August 2019, AIMS Act changing democratic Muslim character to achieve that end. Hindu Tawa ideologists have all together changed the laws of Jammu and Kashmir. Finally, its conclusion is to change the outlook of the international community for palibicide of Jammu and Kashmir and to get the results, if ever, of the palibisit in favor of India. In occupied Kashmir, people of all ages, young and old, women and children, refused to obey the Indian orders and took to the streets in protest against the India's abrogation of Article 370 and 35A, which granted the special status to Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Thousands of activists, including all parties' Hurriyat conference leaders, were arrested during the protest demonstrations. Hundreds of innocent Kashmiris were martyred and thousands injured. Since August 5, 2019, till today, the fundamental human rights of the Kashmiris have been completely usurped and repression is rampant in the region. Mobile phones, internet service, and landline service have also been suspended across the state since the day. Occupied Kashmir has been virtually turned into a prison. Media representatives are barred from working and the local newspapers have been forced to stop printing. As soon as the first patient inflicted the coronavirus infection and was identified in Kashmir on March the 19th, 2020, the lockdown has further tightened. During the two years, Kashmiris have been shocked by devastation caused by the pandemic in India and they have been confined to their homes due to the double lockdown. There was already a 
military lockdown here in Kashmir since August 5th and then when this corona came it was like a, a lockdown within a lockdown the communication blockade first of all it had completely silenced a majority of the population of Jammu and Kashmir an entire population being pushed behind an iron wall what the government is trying to do is to tell an entire population that we are in control of your lives what changed after august 5 is the level of intimidation it is for the first time that police has taken over the control of journalism and journalists in kashmir and they ensure that no journalist moves from the government narrative and no journalist tries to do inconvenient journalism india has not been able to silence the voices of kashmiris for the last 7 decades and pakistan has not taken a step back from its unflinching support for the kashmiri cause the blood of the oppressed kashmiris will never go in vain no matter what india does the freedom movement of the occupied kashmir will continue and the dream of freedom of kashmir from india would become a reality